<sighs> so what's up everybody welcome back to another video for you guys basically talking about android 16 qpr 2 beta 2 what to say there but anyways i wanted to give you guys just a quick uh breakdown not of all the things but the things that stuck out to me that i found to be important so uh, also keep it locked here because it is available for pixel 10s but there are some people reporting that with the pixel 10 um they've enrolled in the beta program yet the system update didn't come to their phone so with that being said i'm going to tell you guys how i got it on my pixel 10 uh so keep it locked to the end of the video so one of the first things you're definitely going to notice is that um i guess there was an issue with adding widgets onto the uh, lock screen right um so they've I guess they kind of fixed that now. So when you go and you try to add new widgets onto the lock screen uh, by swiping over to the left, then uh, you'll see you'll be able to add those widgets in. And there's a little button on the top, I guess, like they fixed that area. That's what I've read. Um, I didn't experience that with QPR 2 Beta 2 on my Pixel 9a. So I don't know. Uh, but that's one of the things that they did talk about and I think that people should know about. The other thing is, is with the um, app icons. So with the app icons now, when you go into wallpaper style and you choose the app icons, you'll now actually see that there's five options at the bottom that you can choose for shapes. You can have the standard circle that we're used to. There's a rounded corner square. Um, there's one that's called four-sided cookie. There's one that's called seven-sided cookie. And there's one that looks like the Pac-Man ghosts. Uh, you can choose either one of those and that will be the shape of your icon on your home display. Now it's for your home display so when you swipe up the app drawer you're not going to see a different change in the shapes of the icon uh, in the app drawer. And this is only on the home display so maybe down the road it will implement throughout the entire user interface as far as the app icons or maybe this might be opening the door in the future to applying third-party icon apps. Never know. Uh, but for right now, you can customize the shapes. Uh, one thing I really wish they would do, and hopefully they do do this, is if it allows you to specifically change the shape of a of like one particular icon app, right? So like if you wanted like all your social medias to look like seven-sided cookies, you wanted uh, maybe like your tools to be circled, you wanted um, more of like production apps to be like around a quarter square. And then you know what? I mean, it's just a visual playful thing. This is something that I would just suggest, but that's just me. Um, other things to know with QPR2 Beta 2 that is not visual, one of them has to do with the Android runtime. Uh, basically, way back in the day, we used to use Dalvik Cache. Now we're using ART or Android runtime. And this has to do with cache buildup. So as your device, when you have apps on there and you use a lot of data, you, you use not data like from the network, but like, you know, you have data stored on your phone. Um, you know, all that cache builds up could actually bog down your phone. And so one of the changes with uh, QPR2 is they've implemented where they can kind of, you know, tell what is considered like, you know, garbage cache and what is actual cache that's needed. So if you don't know how that works out, basically when you open up an app, the reason why it loads faster is because the cache buildup is like a memory. It kind of like allows the app to remember all the things that were loaded from the last time you were on the app. That's why, you know, photos sometimes don't have to like reload when you open Facebook or you open Instagram is because of that cache buildup. It's like memory and it can decipher between what's needed and what's garbage and it kind of like walls off the garbage away. So therefore your phone runs faster and it has better battery battery efficiency. So that's something that's also new and a play in there, as well as one-time passcode protection. That's another thing. So when you do get uh, OTPs delivered to your device, your device has security now to kind of protect those so that other apps aren't able to grab that and hijack it. So, uh, you know, just making sure that when you get those one-time passcodes, you know, you know that you're safe getting those on your device to use whether you have, you know, um, like authentication encryption that you need to you know verify in order to access an app or even banking apps so that's something that's you know pretty cool so yeah those are the noticeable things that i noticed with qpr2 beta 2 that i thought were pretty cool and much needed you know changes now again normally you would just go to g.co slash android beta and enroll your device and once you enroll your device then when you go to you know system settings and you go to uh, system update it'll be a, uh, you know, an OTA update waiting for you. 
Uh, but some people with the Pixel 10 have noticed that they can keep checking for an update and nothing appears. So what I did to get QPR2 Beta 2 on my Pixel 10 was using the Android Flash tool, which is basically, you know, on the Android website and it's not software you have to install on your PC. Everything is done over, over internet, so you have to have internet connection. Uh, to enable that, literally all you would do is on your Pixel 10, go into settings, go down to about device, scroll down, find build number, tap it five times to unlock developer options, go one step back, and then go into system, scroll down to developer options and enable two things, USB debugging and OEM unlock. You need those. Uh, because you're going to be using the Android Flash tool on your PC. Now know this, that when you begin to do it, it's going to unlock your bootloader, which is going to wipe your device. So make a backup of all of the important files that you have. So then that way, uh, when you do this, it's going to wipe it. So it's going to be like as if you got like a, you know, the phone freshly out the box, nothing installed. Um, but yeah, once you have OEM unlocked, you have USB debugging turned on, you connect your device to your PC, run the Android Flash tool, select the uh, Android 16 QPR2 Beta 2, and you're good to go there. And then just let it flash it onto your phone. And then that's it. You have it on your phone. So um, anyways, yeah, just quick update for you guys for Android 16 QPR2 Beta 2, and also how to get it onto your Pixel 10 if you're not able to get the OTA update. Leave your comments, thoughts, concerns, emotional outbursts in the comment section of the video. Thanks for checking out my video today, smash the like button to help out. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.